The last thing I'll call out is actually something that I came across and I personally have been uh, very interested in, which is uh, this, this kind of like very catchy headline of like prompt engineering is dead. Well, it's actually like the in, in short, like this, these two uh, people from VMware, they mostly like sort of ask the question like, hey, like, yes, we, we do all this work to engineer our bumps right now, which is mostly just like a lot of human effort to write the the appropriate, you know, phrases or like chain of thought type description of like what we want the agent or our co pilots to, to do. But what they've found is that actually like you can act, you can get better performance if you just actually let the the LLM write these uh, prompts uh, automatically and then do this in a more like optimization uh, style way. So um, it's a very interesting work. There actually are some frameworks out there that have started to go in this direction. Uh, one that is common is called a DSPY from from Stanford. Um, so it, it, they kind of treat it like a, you know, prom prompts are programs, right? And programs that you can optimize uh, uh, against. So anyway, this was a very like interesting you know, bit of work. One, one thing that's to call out here is that the prompts that the AI generates are like things that humans would not even like think of. Like, like if I remember, like one of the examples was they took on this persona of a Star Trek character and said like, hey, you are like, I don't know, Captain Spock or, or whatever, and, and your, your task is to like solve this crazy problem. Um, so apparently, right, writing it that way or having the AI write a prompt that way was uh, was a lot better than anything that the, at least that they as humans could uh, reasonably like create themselves. So I think anyway. I'm going to interrupt for just a second. Like I, I made this comment too, but like I think this is very correct that um, and you're starting to see really large token windows. Right, million plus. I think ten million is coming eventually. Right, like it's starting to feel a lot to me like the early de days of like developing CPUs, where like you could kind of build them by hand at first, and there were like all these tools to kind of help lay things out. And like now, when you're laying out billions of transistors on a chip, like you're doing it with like libraries and templates and modules and and all kinds of systems. And, like I think we're going to get there with prompt content pretty quickly. We're like. You have these very large systems that build and structure them, you know, because it just it doesn't make any sense to like try to hand structure a, a million token or or more prompt. So I I think this is a very very reasonable idea. That like I don't know what the right answer is yet, like whether it's a compiler or whether it's an LLM or some mixture of techniques or libraries or whatever. But like I would expect the prompt engineering is pretty well and truly dead, honestly. Yeah, thanks for that, Sam. Yeah, I mean, if people here uh, on the call have have explored this area, I'm I'm personally very interested in this. So please, either uh, raise your hand uh, or put in the chat that uh, of some of the things that you've explored. I see Paul raise his hand. So go ahead, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I will say on that uh, one of the things that Molly and I have talked about with the uh, semantic telemetry libraries that we're doing is wondering about the idea of having the language model optimize its own prompts uh, and so the idea of putting it in a feedback loop where you put an evaluation after the result of a of a, um, a prompt and then evaluate that result and then have it actually rewrite the prompt to attempt to get better results and so you can imagine you know at least on a offline experimental kind of setup of trying to optimize prompts but i think uh after we get there then it'll be interesting to kind of wonder how we would do that in an on online scenario uh where and and i think a lot of these problems depend on context too so based on the context that you're feeding it or or, or the other variables that are in the environment uh when you're creating these prompts they'll have to like optimize themselves in real time uh even to get to the place that sam was talking about where you have like a uh kind of a compiled uh optimal prompt uh and then we'll have to start talking about prompt caching and then we'll have to start talking about um uh, uh learning those like creating an optimal set of those and then being able to compose those over time so i i, I agree it feels like we're right at the beginning days and uh, kind of creating these systems to be able to uh do that kind of dynamic caching will be really interesting yeah, 
yeah, thank you for that very interesting times indeed.